Short and sweet. Let's do it. Uh, Mike, how good the walk-on's been for you this year? How exciting yeah, is that moment? A lot. Uh, those guys uh, have been great for our program. Um, they've done a uh, really a nice job with our scout team and give us a good look of what uh, we expect to see, uh, you know, in the upcoming game. Um, you know, they uh, they spend a, a lot of time in that gym working at it, and to see uh, those two guys get uh, shots down was uh, was pretty cool. I know you've been impressed in practice and rotation, but what have you learned from, from your rotation? I think, I, I, you know, I thought about it quite a bit after shoot-around before the game uh, tonight. Um, that's going to continue to play itself out. I'll get to a I'll get to a place that I'm comfortable with. I'm still not comfortable. I thought Padula was very good tonight. Uh, I thought they all were. Uh, John is, you know, John's ready to go. John is, um, you know, playing good minutes and give us the opportunity to get Aluma off the floor. David's been very good. Um, Maddox wasn't great in the first half. I thought he came back and played a really nice ball game in the uh, in the second half. Helped us again. Maddox played 16 minutes, David 15. That's probably going to be 18 somewhere in there when it's all said and done. Um, you know, I, I oftentimes go back and look at, I'll, I'll watch every game during the summer, uh, just look at little things and, you know, who was playing what in November and how that changes from December to January. It'll, it'll be interesting to, to, to monitor that as we, as we move ahead. You mentioned John, <laughs> one pass in, in the first half there. Mark, Mark Swift <laughs> Hands have really improved, and it's hard to teach that. Um, kind of something to stay away from, but his hands have uh, have have improved uh, a lot. Um, he's um, just a much better feel for the game. Uh, when we took him, uh, we needed size so desperately. Uh, John hasn't played a lot of basketball, um, but uh, you know every rep he gets, every opportunity he has. Um, you know, is uh, is a learning experience for him, a, an opportunity to grow, and he he's um, he's the best guy to coach. Um, and uh, you know, as you know, here we are as his uh, junior year, and he's 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 going to help us win. What helped you uh, shoot well tonight? Practice in the second half, which is something you don't Well, you you know they're going to play all zone. They don't do anything but that, which I was a little nervous about. I mean, you know, we have. Guys can really shoot the ball, and I thought we shared, and I thought we put the ball in really good places, and um, yeah, they were they were darts. There was no uh, lag time for uh, Merrimack to uh, recover out and get something uh, contested. So, um, you know, I think <coughs> we, we hadn't had all, all of them cracking at the same time. Couture was only two for seven. thought he played very well. But uh, to see Aline, see Murphy, um, Padula got one down. Maddox got one down. Uh, we'll see more and more of that as we go along. Hey, uh, what, another team that you helped uh, on the court for Santini-wise, what was it like maybe to use that concern? Just, uh, just, you know, they're, they're, I, I use the term connected. They're so connected. Our ball screen defense still has to improve, uh, but um, we're very connected. Uh, kids are smart. Kids know uh, what uh, it's supposed to look like and – uh, getting people chipped and getting to the ball. Um, we're going to run into uh, a lot of teams here that shoot the ball better than some that we have played here in our first five. Um, have to get a little bit better in that regard, getting out of gaps into a, a, a closeout. But I think that'll come as we uh, as we as we move move uh, through the season. Big test on Wednesday against. Yeah, big one. I am. I haven't seen him at all. I take that back. I saw him play probably five minutes against Western Kentucky the last five minutes of the game a um, couple nights ago. I guess that was Friday. Um, so don't know a lot about them. Um, I, I don't know their personnel. I will by the end of the night. We'll uh, we'll, we'll begin those preparations right away. Um, Look forward to getting to Brooklyn. Look forward to playing uh, in uh, the Barclays Arena. And it'll be a great tournament. And our team's excited. Uh, our, our coaches are excited. Do you feel like the team now, I mean, what you've seen, it has the offense and the defense to not just really get a Merrimack, but a few step up now? We're about to find out. We're about to find out. Coach Hardaway's teams uh, have been exceptional defensively. Again, I don't know a lot about them, but they are, um, they are number three nationally right now. And, 
um, something that I pay particular attention to uh, with uh, uh, regards to those uh, types of things. So, um, you know, I know they'll, they're very long and aggressive and, um, you know, we'll, we'll see here soon. Uh, really yeah, cool. yeah, very. Um, well, I think, you know, to no surprise to anyone, I think um, that, that, that they'll want to play really, really fast, and uh, we, 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 we're, not, we're not geared that way. Um, we, can't, we can't play that way and expect to win. Um, they'll want it in the 80s, 90s. We'll want it in the 60s, and – uh, it'll be a test of wills, and our ball handling is going to have to be on point. And, um, you know, the Duran kid had 19 rebounds the other night. I couldn't imagine that. Um, you know, so we got our hands full. But it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a good college basketball game. Look forward to it. The kids were just talking about how you come down the stairs and bump the training staff, and you really bring the juice around here. How much fun are you having? I'm having a, I'm having a great time. I mean, this is a this is such a long grind, yeah. such a long haul, um, and you know they've got other things going on in their lives other than just basketball. They've got their studies. They've got you know other things, uh, and that's really as much as anything just uh, uh, bringing a joy into that uh, building every day, bringing a uh, um, I can't have a bad day, all right? I can't. Uh, Justin Mutz can't have a bad day. He's too important to, uh, to the unit. Storm Murphy, Aluma. Um, so um, Skip Prosser, the late, great Skip Prosser said, you'll never be anywhere in your life that's more enjoyable than the gym. And I, uh, I've always, I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, I uh, I hope so. Um, you know, I mean, there's no there's no secret formula. Um, just good solid ball, great shot selection. Um, you know, playing in the half court and being solid and and uh, you know stiff on the defensive end, um, putting the ball in the post to Luma and uh, and and Mutz, um, back onto the perimeter to a number of guys that can uh, that can really shoot the ball. Uh, so. You know, we're not going to alter anything uh, on Wednesday that we've done to this point. It's you know, it's who we are and how we want to play. Let's hope it's good enough uh, against uh, against Memphis. Refresh your memory. You're playing for your similar to Penny Hardaway's, or uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, my shoe hasn't done as well as uh, Coach Hardaway's, but um, there are a lot of similarities between myself and Penny in terms of our our uh, basket our our backcourt skills. Well, I mean, you can give them anything. They'll, 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 you hear them in practice all the time. They, they, I can't tell you how many times. And I guess I've done it so long. Um, and take your ego out of it. They're doing things on their own. Uh, nothing, it's subtle things on how we want, want to guard something or how ball screen is uh, set. Um, they are really, really smart, and and um, I uh, appreciate that, recognize that, and. Uh, there's a great deal of freedom in uh, in our program to uh, what's best for the team. And God, I don't have all the answers. What's best for the team? Uh, Aluma, Mutz, uh, you know, all those guys. Uh, they uh, they've got great intentions, and you know, I, I guess I empower them and let's just get it right. I I don't doesn't have to come from me. Uh, they're 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 awesome. They're great, great, great to coach. Players. I mean, how much of a difference does that make to you to your guys, especially 
knowing kind of how the, the industry works, is a lot of coaches don't act like you on the floor. Yeah, I'm asking them what movies they've seen. Those time, those TV timeouts are off, awful. You go to the NCAA tournament, I've had been blessed to have the chance to do that several times. Those things are like two and a half minutes. I, 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 I'm not smart enough to figure out enough things to say. And who wants to listen to someone talk for that length of time about the same things we've been over and over and over and over in our lead up to, uh, to, that, uh, to that game? So, you know, um, and there's some dead time. Just to yourself, just relax and, uh, you know, make the best play a great play. And um, we don't take ourselves too seriously around here. <laughs> you know what? My daughter, my beautiful daughter, who I get to see on Tuesday, she's living in the West Village in Brooklyn or uh, in uh, the city, and I get to see her. And uh, I'm just reluctant. I'm not much. I don't like watching that stuff. Um, but uh, I did watch it, and and I loved it. I loved it. Um, I'm not trying to be Ted. I don't think or, or Led Tasso. I don't think Led Tasso is trying to be Mike Young either. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be me. Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, I didn't want, I didn't, I wasn't paying close attention to it. I saw he was wearing number three. Um, so a little bit. Uh, is that it? Thanks, guys.